Okay, my aim is to do a brief overview of this setup, hopefully. Um, just starting with the Variax, just got the input there, 0 to 240 volts AC input. I say 0 to 240 volts because what I've done is I've um, put a piece of nylon in there, so I can't go over 240. I might actually remove that because um, this can probably take a bit more than that. Um, got a little MCB on the output of it, 6 amps, so, um, so I don't blow that up. Um, the interrupter circuit is what feeds the pulses into the, um, the control circuit in the coil to tell it when to fire. Um, and that just takes an audio signal or just a sine wave or a square wave, whatever you want really. I'm just using this as a signal generator really. Got some test tones on there as well as some music. Um, that all music that's capable of being played through this. Not all music's able to be played through this. Um, got a PCB in there that I etched. Um, basically stole the PCB design off of the internet, like most things. Um, I like doing that. Um, run off two 9 volt batteries. Uh, a bit of a sketchy output here. This should really be a fiber optic to isolate the control box from the um, high voltage gubbins, but that's what this this is for. So I'm going to be adding that fiber optic cable. Um, the control circuitry's got a few ICs on there. I forgot. Um, I believe that one's a comparator for um, the current feedback, and that those are the output chips. But I haven't um, I haven't uh, looked at this in a while. Really, I've just. Uh, got back on this. There's the um, bus capacitor. That's the um, big transistor module. There's two transistors there. So this is a half bridge um, setup. Got two heat sinks there. Each one of those was from a PC. And then I've um, I've pretty much just put them together. Um, it really doesn't get hot at all. The output from the um, the driver ICs here, from the control circuit, goes into this gate drive transformer, which isolates the output, um, and then sends it into the inputs of the transistor module, which tells it when to turn on and off. You can see there's two inputs there, one for each transistor that's in that brick. These are the current feedback. One of them's for uh, phasing purposes, so it knows how, like, what time to switch when it's oscillating. And one of them's a current feedback, so it stops oscillating when the current gets too high. If this wasn't there, then it'd blow up. Um, those capacitors are back there. That's that's a bit of a mess. That's just a voltage doubler with. Um, some capacitors and diodes, which, which then charges this cap here. That voltage jobble is fed by this um, mains input, and that's just a little uh, mains filter right there um, to filter, hopefully filter most of the harmonics that comes out of this. And then that's the um, capacitor bank for the resonance circuit between this coil here, primary coil, and that. Um, I forgot what frequency it was running at, but um, I'll be able to dig that up later, if anyone's interested. Um, then you've got the secondary coil and the top load. Secondary coil has an inductance, of course, and then the top load has a capacitance, and then that, um, those two um, couple together we have a resonant frequency equal to the primary circuit here between the um, primary coil and the primary capacitor. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and you can explain the resonant circuits by, as an analogy, being someone on the swing. If you're pushing in at the just the right time, then they'll get really high. 
and then um, that's pretty much what, what's happening here. Um, yeah, if uh, this was if uh, this was running at a different resonant frequency to the secondary circuit, like I was before, um, you don't get very good results, and things overheat. But now it's barely getting warm, and I'm getting sparks that are quite big and scary. So that's about it. Um, I'm g what I'm going to be doing is um, having two capacitors here. So this will actually be the voltage doubler here instead of a mess over there. So that'll save a bit of space. Um, although the capacitors will be bigger. Um, that's a snubber capacitor right there, by the way. That helps suppress any uh, voltage spikes across the half bridge. Um, helping to prevent it not blowing up. And that's the power transformer for running the um, control circuit. And that's the whole setup.